Hi there! Welcome back to the Second Chance Garden video. Here we have my Hoya Hindu rug plants and I wanted to talk about these today a little bit and see if I can repot them. Now I've done so many repotting videos so far and I don't want to make another, just another repotting video. And I believe that the, these plants are the most interesting ones to sort of feature and I'm hoping that, that I don't bore you with it. All right, so these I've had for about a year and the reason why that I wanted to do this video was that I've been sort of frustrated about their growth, the speed of their growth, I guess. Um, I don't believe that they're growing fast enough. Never mind the flowers, they never flower. That's, you know, sort of expected because I'm growing these indoor. Um, they are hanging by the south, way, uh, south facing window, I'm sorry, um, and they, they're getting enough lights, but it's not like they're growing outside, all right. So I'm not even expecting them to flower. I just want them to grow. Now to the right, as you can see, that one is a variegated version, and to the left, that's a regular version and uh, they pretty much look like the way they came in really um, this part though it seems to be new growth coming out and I was happy about it half a year ago but then nothing else is really happening what's really neat about this variegated version which I really really love is this pure white part look at this it's just pure white and I really think it adds great interest to this plant and I wanted to see a lot more of it so um, my guess is this I feel that the fact that I left them in the original pot with the original soil media that I don't even know what kind of soil media they are that's probably the problem and I should have repotted these a long time ago but well, for a number of reasons, I haven't. And now is the time to actually take a look at these and see what's inside. My guess is that the roots are really not in a healthy shape because of the, you know, maybe the poor soil media or the soil media being just old. And really, there's not much more that it can do, even though, you know, I would water these plants with um, nutrients in it sometimes the repotting is the best way to go about it. So just to explain to you what type of uh, um, environment these are in. So these metal um, pots are just the decorative pots. Um, once I take this plant out, you will see that uh, these are still in regular four inch nursery pot, just like this. And I don't think that the size is an issue, you know, for this size of plant, I think it's all right to keep it in four inch pots, but I think I'm going to put a brand new good soil media into it and see if that makes any difference. So that's what I wanted to do today. So let me just take the other one out as well and see how it looks like. Ooh. Actually, the whole thing sort of came out, but all right, let's just keep the original part here for now. And I will take them both out one by one to see what's underneath. All right, so let's see. Um, I'm going to wear a pair of gloves and I will get started. Since the left hand side just came right out of this nursery pot, let's see how it looks like. So I'm just going to sort of tilt it over and just let it come out. All right, it's slightly pot bound, it looks like. It's not too bad, but I'm actually surprised that the roots are thin. But maybe they're just the way they are. I do not know, but I feel like though these uh, the soles is pretty much done. So that's that here. I'm just going to put back on and let's take a look at the other one, the variegated version, how it looks like. Let's see. Oof, it's coming apart. 
slightly. Yeah, it's the same situation. I mean, roots seem to be, I mean, roots are roots. They, they seem to be okay, but, you know, slightly pot bound. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I just feel like it can do a lot better. So, what I wanted to do is to take this old soil media off as much as possible from the, the root structure. And I'm going to show you my potting mix. So let me just put these plants aside for the time being. And let me show you what I have as a setup. And uh, I will be right back. All right, so before I get started with repotting process and you know um, start to work on these plants, I wanted to show you what I have as a setup for this repotting real quick. Okay, so this one is my regular potting mix with uh, coarse perlite in it, and uh, I use this for you know pretty much anything you know as the base and sometimes I mix some other things uh, to it so this time around is no exception I'm going to add some other things to it so I just want to show it to you well these are my uh, new four inch uh, nursery pot I'm going to keep it in four inch pots for now I don't really feel the need to upgrade into uh, five inch or six inch at the moment so that's what I'm going to do so these are all like lined at the bottom already right and this one is the uh, horticulture desert sand because Hoya needs um, very good drainage it doesn't want it to sit in soggy um, soil media for too long I wanted to add a little bit of um, sand to it so here it is all right and even though this one has a coarse perlite as you can see like a pretty big perlite in it I wanted may wanted to add it let's just put it that way I'm not sure 100% but I may want to add a little bit more fine perlite to this because uh, the pots are going to be somewhat small and uh, yeah I'm just anticipating that I may need finer perlite to this mixture so I have that and also my soil mixture today is a bit dry so I have some water and here is the mixing container that's where all goes in before I fill my pots and so that's the setup and the sprayer it has just the regular water in it just in case if I need to spray some motor, uh, more water sorry from the top so just in case I have that sprayer but that's about it I don't really have anything more that uh, I should mix into the soil media so that's my setup so let me clear out my bench once again to start to um, work on these roots and get rid of some old soil media I will be right back Okie dokie, so I am back with my regular um, Hindu rope Hoya plant to get started with it and see um, what I find really. I, I don't think there's any surprise or anything, but I just wanted to loosen up uh, the, this uh, old soil media and uh, just take a look at inside. I don't know how um, hard I need to be at it to make it happen. I'm not really sure, so let's just give it a shot. Now, this may take some time, of course, so in that case, I will come back once I'm done doing this so that you don't have to just you know, stare at this whole process. Okay, so I was able to shake off a lot of soil uh, in between the roots, and uh, this is what I'm left with for two four inch pots and it's not a lot and I'm trying to figure out what type of soil media this is I mean I'm, I really can't really tell it looks like it's just a regular pudding uh, mix with some perlite and maybe peat in um, I don't think the drainage is all that great but at the same time though it's not looking all too bad but I do want to get rid of this and once I do I will um, show you what I have after all this. Alright, so hold on one second. Alright, so I cleaned off the bench just a little bit, um, as much as I could anyway, and uh, I'm back with my Hoya plant. So to the right, once again, uh, these are the, uh, the variegated versions, and uh, seems like I have uh, one, two, three, 
for five separate plants all together. They were all in the same pot. And uh, to the left, uh, these are regular um, Hindu rope plant. And I also have five of them. Now, I didn't really think it through in the beginning. So now I'm, now I'm facing uh, with a decision to make, I guess, uh, do I put them all back in four inch pots, you know, both of them, or um, should I just separate them? Um, I feel like though, some of them are like, a re like really tiny, like this one, for example, like I don't know what's going on with this leaf over here. I feel like I can leave this out or I should just plant this by itself and see how it does. That would be interesting. It's very small too. And I bet you this really hasn't changed since I purchased uh, um, this plant. So I would probably set this aside, but maybe I keep the rest of the four all together. Um, now, the variegated versions, it's the same story, I guess. I mean, they, they're in pretty good condition, but some of them are very tiny, like this one. Nothing wrong with it, though. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they're very tiny. Maybe it's wise to separate them. I do not know. Um, I will come back and uh, let you know um, what I end up doing. Okay, so now I'm back to repotting, but I wanted to just show you and uh, just the way that I would mix my soil media. After I do that, then I'm just gonna come back with the end results so that I can keep this video somewhat short. Okay, so I'll be right back. So I'm going to put everything in this container and see what the mixture will look like. So I will obviously start from the main potting soil mixture with coarse perlite and uh, some cocoa core in it. Let's just be a little bit generous uh, just so that I know for the fact that I have enough. So this is the main one and I'm going to sprinkle in some sand. Start from just a half amount and see how it goes. Well, I think I'm going to add the whole thing. So there you go. All right. Mix it very well. The main soil mix is a little dry, as I mentioned earlier. So it gets a little dusty mixing all these things. But anyway, I'm going to add water to it a little later. So it won't get too dusty. And the last thing is this just fine perlite just a little bit so that the reason why I wanted to do this basically is just uh, so that I don't rely on just coarse perlite maybe going to the bottom over time and stuff you know I just wanted to have uh, two different types of perlite in it for good drainage uh, that's basically my reasoning so there all right so I think these are somewhat mixed well, the best I can get it to be um, in this dry condition. So I do want to add a little water to it, just to moisten, just a little bit so that it's easier to manage. All right, it's less dusty now with uh, some water being added and I can mix it a bit easier with this. I think I'm going to add a little bit more, just a splash more. And I think I'm pretty good to go. So um, after I repot these two, I'm going to be showing you how they look like. All right, so bear with me for one more second and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I am finally done with repotting, but my goodness, uh, it was really challenging and I didn't really expect this going into it. So what happened was, as you can see, I mean, these uh, leaves are very crinkly um, and uh, trying to get them into this pot, that part wasn't too hard. I mean, they sit right pretty easily but filling this pot with soil media was really tough because I just really didn't want it to get the dirt the soil mix into you know these crinkly leaves but it's nearly impossible so I tried to shove down as much soil media um, as possible in this pot but I still feel like 
I didn't feel it enough. So what's going to happen is this. I'm going to start top watering, not bottom watering this plant. Um, I need to sort of uh, clear, clean these leaves anyway uh, with dirt. So I, I have to give it a good shower. That's what I'm going to do. And as time goes by, I feel like soil will settle by top watering. And if I feel the need to fill this pot with more soil mix, then that's what I'm going to do. I think that's an okay plan. Um, the same thing happened with this one too. That it was uh, it was really tough getting the soil mix into it. This one was the one that I did the. Um, second time around and I think I did a slightly better job compared to this one this one was the first one so I struggled quite a bit so anyway um, putting them back in the pot wasn't too bad uh, with an exception of uh, this long part everything else was pretty small anyway so I just put them uh, placed them in the pot and they tend to just stay there so that part was easy for this one what I did was all of them are equally somewhat long so I sort of uh, you know, observed their natural direction and it turned out to be counterclockwise. So I went with that direction and I think I did an okay job. Once again though, I think that uh, there's not enough soil media in it. So I'm going to have to top watering these uh, the plants. And as you can see on the side, you see these two little tiny plants. So I saved the one each from uh, these guys and this one is the variegated version um in good shape not not such a bad shape and with with some roots on it this came from that and uh the regular one too again like i, I showed it to you i don't know what's going on with this leaf but you know i can just cut it off if i wanted to and the overall though this tiny one's doing okay so i think i'm going to plant these separately and uh, I will watch them grow, see if they do anything different. I didn't want to jam pack these uh, pots, so I think I made the right decision. All right, so I hope to keep you updated on the growth rate of these plants, whether or not uh, repotting was a good thing to do. I, you know, I still believe that uh, repotting was necessary and I hope to keep you updated on that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching as always.